20 fruitless years we've wasted on this war. I will not have a handful of Bedouins stop the progress of 40 million Italians. I want their leader brought here. I want him brought to me. I want the revolution crushed. What's his name? Omar Mokhtar. What did Mokhtar do before the rebellion? He was a teacher. It was only a question of time before they let him loosen us. It will mean a new offensive. My father used to say, blows that don't break your back, strengthen it. Mukhtar's men fight in turns. Three months they run with him. The next three months they're peaceful at home. No peace. We're not merely fighting Mukhtar and 200 of his men here, or, or 50 of his men there. We are fighting a population. We do not kill prisoners. They do it to us. They are not our teachers. Earlier, General, it does not belong here. I propose to concentrate the Bedouin. Yes, put them behind war, camps, and keep them there until we find it prudent or safe to release them. No, I don't want any pity for them. They have brought it upon themselves. We will fill their wells. We will burn their fields. We will destroy their trees. We will turn their land brown. Now, if they cannot live, they will leave. Who can fight such a war? Not against armies, but against innocent people. And uh, if you meet a resistance, you answer it promptly with the old Roman punishment for rebellion. There's a mission. We are not Italians who do not tell us that we are. We were born where we were born, only by the will of God, and only by our own mothers. We are not you. I tell you, there is no escape 20 years, 40 years. The land will be back to its people. It is our duty to God Allah, to defend ourselves against those who have driven us out of our homes. If you will not come to terms, I promise you immediate, terrible war. Oh, I know the power of your government, the power you threaten us with. We've stood against you for 20 years. And with the help of God, we will stay with you till your end. Omar, why do you not surrender? Obtain the best terms you can from the Italians. They are the government of this country. No. They take this land by day, but by God, we take it back by night. Omar Mukhtar, you are alone. Cut off from the rest of this country, isolated from the rest of the world. In the League of Nations, they will not speak. And if they should, they... Will not listen. No one will care. This battle is not being fought in the League of Nations. This battle is being fought here, on this land. Omar, you cannot win this war. Your blood against their metal. Every man has two days, his own day and his children's day. Your children are starving. Dying in the concentration camps. Dying because you persist in fighting. Yes. Yes, they are hostages of war. But not one of them betrays me. Not one has asked me to surrender, because they know, and I know, that if I surrender, I betray them. Fire! They steal our land. They destroy our homes. They kill innocent people, and you call it peace. I will not be corrupted by that man's peace. Why did you keep going for so long? I mean, surely you didn't hope to drive us out of Libya with so little, did you? We fought you. That was enough. But you cared nothing about the ruination of your country. You are the ruination of my country. What would you do if someone occupied your land? Italy has as much right here as anybody else. England has a right to Egypt, France to Tunisia, Algeria, Spain to Morocco. But none of them have our pedigree. We have hundreds of years of right here. Soon you will take everything from me. And you want me to justify your thefts. No nation has the right to occupy another. You are too late for bargains, Mukhtar. You are far too late. Instruct the president of the court that he must be hanged in front of his people. They must be there. The rope of your justice is always hung in front of me, General. The sentence on you, Omar Mukhtar, is death by hanging. 
in public. Yes, the wire is hurting us. Yes, it is. It is around our neck. But it is God. Not Graziano, who decides what becomes of us. What is the will of wire compared to the will of God? From God we come. And unto God we shall return. We will never surrender. We win or we die. And don't think it stops there. You will have the next generation to fight, and after the next, the next. As for me, I will live longer than my hangman.